starting a new week and I am ready to get my day started as you see this morning guys I finally weighed in I mean I have been weighing in here and there but I finally broke my weight loss so I want to cry it has been a hard few months for me to finally get under 142 I have been jumping back and forth from 142 145 140 is like just in between that window for like a couple months now and it has been the hardest thing for me so that's why i wanted to start these cyclical keto videos and just change things up for myself and start incor incorporating carb up days and as you can see it's working my weight has finally moved moved and i've been working out and i just feel awesome I am so proud of myself so and I actually weighed myself um last Monday and I was at 142.6 or something like that and I'm officially at 141.0 my next goal has been to reach 135 and it has been the hardest thing for me to do that but I'm still pushing I'm still trying and my hard work is gonna pay off so I'm very proud of myself I wanted to cry like a baby this morning I still do I was like oh my god finally finally I broke that weight loss stall so last Monday I was at let me see I have like my trend so it keeps track of my phone my scale I'll link my scale below if y'all want to check it out I love that scale I've had it for a while that's probably the scale that I've had since my the beginning of my weight loss journey and it connects to your phone and it keeps track of a lot of things so on Monday I weighed in at 142.6 and now I'm at officially 141.0. So I cannot wait to see 139 on that scale. My next goal weight is 135. I have been trying to reach 135 for a while now. I'm short, I'm only 4'11", so my true goal weight is 130. That's what I'm trying to get to, but for now we're taking baby steps and we're just trying to hit that 135, guys. So that move, my BMI went down, my muscle mass is going up, like everything is good. So I'm so excited, I'm so happy for myself. Yay, so it's gonna be a good day. But we got our workout in this morning. I only showed y'all a few, a few clips of my workout. That wasn't my full workout. We did some arms today. We were feeling good. We got it in. And yeah, I have actually have to do some errands today. I gotta do some grown up things today. So we're gonna quickly get in a breakfast. Remember, this is not a keto breakfast. 
Some of the items in the breakfast is keto friendly, but this is not going to be a keto breakfast. This is my carb up day. So today we're making like some chocolate chip pancakes, some like protein oats, chocolate chip pancakes, and I'm excited. So I put out my ingredients. I made my kids some breakfast because we're gonna be on the go here in a bit and they wanted some eggs. So they ate some eggs and stuff. So let's go ahead and get started because I gotta get my day started. So these are the ingredients. Okay, let me show y'all here. Ingredient wise, we got some protein powder, whatever protein powder you want. Um, that's keto, this is keto. These are the Lily chocolate chips. I love their chocolate chips. So this is the chocolate we're going in with. Baking powder, we have some olive oil spray or you can use avocado spray or coconut oil spray. We got some sea salt. This is keto of course as well. Um, we're going in with some unsweetened almond milk. Whenever you do keto, you wanna make sure it is unsweetened because you don't want all that sugar. Almond Breeze is my favorite brand. This is the only one I really get. Not keto, but we are going in with a banana today. Two large eggs, some ground cinnamon, and these aren't um, keto either, but these, we're going in with some steel cut oats. There goes my eggs, they're rolling everywhere. <laughs> we're going in with some steel cut oats. So basically we're throwing everything in a blender. We're gonna make a pancake mix and you just pour it out and top it. It's gonna be very simple and easy. So let's get started. All right guys, to my handy dandy blender, we're adding in one cup of these steel cut oats. Okay, I got my one cup of the oats in there. We're going in with half a cup of our unsweetened almond milk. We're gonna add this in. Oh my God, I'm gonna spill it. We got it. Half a cup. We're going in with one whole banana. We're gonna crack in the two large eggs. For our baking powder, we're going in with half a teaspoon. Just a few little splashes of some sea salt. A few little dashes of some cinnamon. We love us some cinnamon, so I like a little bit extra. This is what it's looking like right now. And last ingredient going into our blender is one scoop of protein powder of your choice. Okay, we have all our ingredients that are going into our blender. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna go ahead and click smoothie just so it gets nice and blended. And start. Okay, it got nice and blended. Now we're gonna take our batter, we're gonna start heating up our pan, and we're gonna make our pancakes. Okay, that is heating up. We're gonna go ahead, we're spraying some spray right here, just so I like my edges crispy on my pancakes, so I feel like that helps. So to measure this out, we're taking one fourth cup for each pancake. And we're gonna pour this on here. Ooh. Oh, can't wait. It smells so good, especially the banana. Okay, let this spread a little bit. Okay, now for the chocolate chips, I'm using the Lily's chocolate chips. I'm not adding much. I'm literally adding like one four, one eighth cup to each little pancake. And we're gonna let this cook through. Okay, once you see that your edges are getting crispy, it's time to flip it very carefully. There you go. Oh, it looks so good. Now we're just gonna repeat until I'm done and we're gonna enjoy. It's very simple breakfast today. We're gonna top it with some sugar-free syrup and I cannot wait to dig in. Okay, so to me the one fourth cup was way too small. So I probably did about half a cup per pancake and then we have a regular pancake size. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I kind of just poured it on there. We're almost done with the batter. It makes about three full-size pancakes. Okay, y'all, I finished my pancakes. There's a little one under here. I just made them into regular size pancakes. I thought the cup size would make um, pretty good size pancakes, but to me, they were kind of small. 
So I topped it off with two tablespoons. Two tablespoons is the serving size of this syrup. This is by Birch Benders, their monk fruit um, sweetened pancake syrup. I absolutely love this syrup. I got this at Kroger. And then I just chop, topped it off with a little bit more chocolate chips. And that is it. This is going to be my um, breakfast, my protein banana pancakes. They're really, really good. Um, I already tried a little piece of it. <laughs> I was like making it. And I was like, oh my God, I got to dig in. So highly recommend these. They're so good. Let me show you what the inside looks like. So they're kind of thick only because they're made of oats. We have our protein powder and banana, but they ha they hold up just like a regular pancake would. And I highly recommend y'all can be like, I got chocolate all over my finger, <laughs> but they are so, so good. So I'm about to dig right in and enjoy these while they are hot. You guys, let me tell y'all. So these pancakes, they taste like banana bread. They're so good. You don't have to add the chocolate. I actually didn't add chocolate to the first one. I just sprinkled it on top and I put very little because you don't want to overdo it with the chocolate. But the banana, amazing. Mm. I could eat these like every day. You guys make these. Make these. These would even be good topped off with strawberries. That would be good too. Mm. These are so good. I would say though, these pancakes are very thick so they're heavy and i'm full right so this pancake batter if you actually make like regular size pancakes it can make up to like four pancakes depending so i basically ate two or i served myself two in the small one just because it was there the first one i had made you guys i'm full <laughs> i'm trying to push through it and i can't so i ate like half but they're so good they're they're good but they're thick like this is thick pancakes, so I don't think I could finish, guys. Like, I gotta get my carbon taken. My God, this is this is too much. Like, they don't look thick, but when you're eating them, it's because of like um, the oats and the banana and the protein powder. All of that is going to get you really full. And I'm hungry. Like, I was so hungry because I just worked out and I actually fasted for a really long time yesterday. But I am full. Like, I don't think I could take another bite, guys, but we got most of it in. <laughs> We're gonna try, but I don't think I can do it. I think I'm too full. All right, guys, I try to finish as much as I could. I have like very little left, but we good now. It was really good. I am nice and full. I gotta go run some errands, do some mom things, but let me tell you all the macros for the, those pancakes. So the serving size is two pancakes. I basically ate two pancakes because the other little one I didn't even eat because I'm done. So the macros, um, I got in 14 grams of the protein, 8 grams of fat because we're keeping fat at a very minimal, um, 289 calories and 36 net carbs. So we're on track so far with breakfast and that is including the syrup as well. The syrup is only one net carb for two tablespoons, so that's good. Um, and that syrup is keto friendly, of course. But we are on track and later on I'm about to run some errands and later on we might have a snack or so depending how I feel because your girl is full. But depending we might have a snack and then we will have a delicious dinner. But I'm about to head out this door with the boys and run some quick errands. What are you doing? I don't know. Walking over here. Okay. Look at the naked dog. Show her. Oh, she's swimming. She's trying so hard. Let her go. Let her go. Oh, sweet baby. <laughs> sweet baby. You did such a good job, sweet baby. She's like a naked mole rat. You want to go swim to mama? You want to 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 swim to mama? <laughs> she survived. Could you stop? <laughs> Say hi, Bash. <laughs> I need one of these at home. The swing. All right, Daddy. You relax outside. <laughs> He's all looking at himself. <laughs> Can you stop? 
<laughs> Let her come this way. Let's see how fast she goes. <laughs> She's like, okay, where do I go now? <laughs> <laughs> she needs one of those basket floaties. Did you see them? I saw it. Yeah, she needs one of those. This is like fresh, like, this is wet skin right here. <laughs> There's no fur. Oh my god. Say hi, Allie. Say hi, Allie. Allie. Oh, she's trying to kiss me. Say hi, Allie. <laughs> She's a hair. What is she again? A hairless rat terrier. It's weird. Look at this. Her name's Alopecia Nohara. Alopecia Nohara. So <laughs> my. Oh my God, no. <laughs> All right, guys. I am back home. I ran my errands. Took a little bit. Um, I had went to my in-laws and you know what? I thought the kids were gonna want to get in the pool, but they were cleaning it I was like, oh no, my kids are gonna cry to go swimming. No, they didn't even want to be outside <laughs> That's how hot it is here in Houston in Texas. It is so hot Like so hot. It's like make you just want to stay inside and not even go outside my kids They were out there for a little bit and they were like mom. Can we go home? <laughs> They were just wanting to come home, but I had run my errands and went to my in-laws and then So I have this family friend. Um, she had messaged me asking if I wanted all these Jordan skinny syrups She said you're the only person that I know that would use them. So if you want them, you can have them I said heck yes, most of them are brand new. There's probably only like two or three that are open, but these are awesome. This is awesome because like these are flavors I didn't even have. So I'll show you the flavor she gave me. Thank you to Renee. I'm excited. I love Jordan Skinny Syrup. So like to have different ones on hands, you can use them for desserts, your coffees, like all kinds of things. So I'll take them. <laughs> so I got the Hibiscus Passion Fruit. I actually didn't have this one. Now, if you ask me which flavor is my favorite Jordan Skinny Syrup, it's gonna be this one. I absolutely love this flavor. This is a salted dark chocolate espresso. Oh, this flavor is like to die for. I love this flavor. This one's really good. So if y'all try any of them and you're a chocolate person like me, definitely give this one a try. That one is my absolute favorite. I got a pumpkin caramel. I actually think I have this one. I don't know. And then she also gave me a banana split flavor. I actually haven't tried this one, so I'm excited for this one. Peanut butter cup. This one I think I have too. It's a strawberry key, key lime margarita. So if y'all want to make like some homemade margaritas that are keto approved, this is great for that. Um, pineapple flavor. These are great to mix in waters. It just gives you your water some flavor. Or I've seen people like mix them into like Sprite Zeros. I used to mix the Sprite Zero with cherry. I'm just not a big soda person, but it's really good if you do do that. And as well as the strawberry watermelon. These two other flavors are not Jordan Skinny syrups, but they are just sugar-free um, syrups. This is peach, and then the other one is just a regular vanilla one. And my friend Nancy, she also did yesterday, she brought me two mocha flavors. And that's good, because I was running low on these. I only had like very little, so she brought me two of these. So shout out to Nancy too. Everybody's just giving me Jordan Skinny syrups this week. I don't know. <laughs> All right guys, so with that being said, we got all our Jordan Skinny syrups put up. I fed my kids their lunch. I'm not gonna eat a snack because I'm not too hungry. I'm still full from breakfast and I know I'm gonna be full from dinner because we're gonna have a good size dinner. But we gotta have iced coffee. Now that we have some more Jordan Skinny syrups, I'm going in with the salted dark chocolate espresso because I absolutely love that flavor and I haven't had it in a while, so. We're gonna have this today, so let's go ahead and get started. We make some iced coffee. Now, y'all know I make my keto iced coffee the exact same way. I'm not changing anything. This is how I always do it. So we have some iced coffee right here. This is just the um, the Starbucks Blonde Roast Unsweetened that I got on my grocery haul. I am going in with some half and half for my creamer. We're gonna add the Jordan Skinny Syrup and that's it <laughs> that's it that's all we're gonna have oh you know what i didn't get to have i'll have this tomorrow 
I go in every day with my MCT oil and collagen now, but since it is a cyclical keto day, I didn't have hot coffee this morning. Usually I like to mix it in my hot coffee. I do not like to put it in my cold coffee. I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't mix well. So we'll have that tomorrow, but today we'll just skip that. So today we'll just have like a basic iced coffee. So let's go ahead and get my cup. You guys, I got so many cups to choose from. We're gonna go in with, I guess we'll use my Keto with Sammy one that my friend Nancy made me. All my little cups, my little avocado cup. That's like all the little face. I got this on H-E-B if you had saw one on the San Antonio. My Starbucks cup. This one I absolutely love. This one's from um, H-E-B, comes out with really cute cups. I absolutely love H-E-B's cup and they always stay cold. They're really cute. It's like, it was a Valentine's one, but it has like the tacos, y'all, like Texas stuff. I absolutely love it. Okay, we gotta put some ice in this cup. Go to my ice machine. So we need ice for our iced coffee. I can't do this with one hand, y'all. <laughs> I usually put like two scoops of ice. Okay, we got that all up in there. Mmm, I can't wait. I think I'm gonna go ahead and chop up while I'm drinking my iced coffee. My kids, when we went grocery shopping, they wanted some watermelon and pineapple, not keto, but I'm gonna go ahead and chop those up so they're not like sitting on my counter over there. Pour some iced coffee. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, half and half. What's the serving size? I think it's two tablespoons. One, two. You can also use heavy whipping cream, but I don't know. I've been using half and half lately. Okay, then the Jordan Skinny Syrup Salted Dark Chocolate Espresso. Let me go ahead and open it up. I could literally just drink this flavor out the bottle. It's so good. Okay, just a quick splash just to add some flavor and sweetness. And this is going to be my iced coffee, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sip on this and get some mom stuff down around um, the house. And then we'll get started on dinner here later. Love this cup. It's so pretty. I am cutting up this watermelon for my kids and guess who loves watermelon jinky and I haven't bought some in a minute so I'm gonna call her and see if she wants to come over here and have some jinky she's coming all the other dogs are coming too but they don't even like watermelon jinky look what I got oh watermelon okay bye She's out. Let me see if Shady would like some. I doubt it, but she. Here you go. Nope. See? Jinky, you want some more? <laughs> I call the dogs for watermelon. Look who comes running. Bashi? Huh? You want some watermelon? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Come here. He's over there sitting at the table. Say hi. <laughs> you want some? Yeah. You want to serve yourself? Yeah. Here, scoop your watermelon into your bowl. Okay. Got it? Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. He loves watermelon. And he loves pineapple. Got mm. it? Good job. There? All right, bye. All right, y'all, it's officially time for dinner. I was actually taking about an hour or two. I sat down and I was planning out some meal plans. If y'all saw my post a couple days ago, I am going to start selling meal plans for everybody that wants to get on track with keto. And you know, just um, it's gonna be lunch and dinner only. So those will come out very soon for all the people that have asked. I am working on them. So yeah, that's what I was doing right now. But let's go ahead and get started on dinner. Today we're making some cilantro mango chicken. So of course I'm gonna have my chicken breast and we're gonna lay this over some brown rice. And then they're very simple ingredients. Salt, pepper, we have some limes, a mango, some garlic, some plain Greek yogurt, cilantro, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. So let's go ahead and get started. 
Okay, what I'm doing, I have a bowl right here. I'm going to toss my chicken breast in. I have three chicken breasts right here. I cleaned them up. I'm going to pound them pretty thin because I don't want them too thick. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these just to pound it out. And we're going to throw them in the bowl. I chopped up some cilantro. We're going to make the marinade for the chicken first. Okay, so I have my chicken breasts. I pounded them out a bit so they're not too thick. We're going to add um, like half a cup of cilantro in here. Trust me, we're going to add more cilantro later. I love me some cilantro. We're going to add one container of our Greek yogurt plain. It's going to be so delicious. I cannot wait. Okay, that's in there. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of some minced garlic. And then one lime. We're just going to add the juice. Give it that nice zesty flavor. A few dashes of cayenne pepper. We don't want it too spicy. Just adds a little kick. And some salt and pepper. A little bit of pink salt. And a little bit of black pepper. And you're just going to coat the chicken in this. And we're going to set this in the fridge. You can also do this like in a gallon bag. Um, we're going to set this in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Or you can marinate this overnight. But 30 minutes to an hour if you're making it um, the same day. Okay. So it's nice and coated. We're going to toss this in the fridge. Okay, while we have our chicken marinating, we're going to start boiling one fourth cup of our brown rice. Okay, we have one fourth cup of brown rice. I'm going to bring it to a simmer. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to bring it to a simmer and then once it's simmering, we'll cover it with the lid. I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees. And I did put a lid on my brown rice and I lowered the heat a bit so it could simmer and cook through. Okay guys, we got our baking dish right here. My oven is preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my chicken to my baking dish. And we're gonna bake this up. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm gonna get the cilantro. I'm gonna spread it on here. Get this garlic. Oh my God. Oh my God. This piece of chicken is stuck. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to get whatever is left over. Just so it could bake on the chicken. Okay, we're going in the oven. Oven's preheated at 375. You're gonna bake this for about 20 to 30, 25 to 30 minutes. While the chicken is baking, we're gonna go ahead and make like a mango sauce for this. So I cut up my mango, we're gonna use half of it or a little bit more than half. The other one, we're just gonna garnish with it on top of the chicken. You're gonna want some more lime, um, another yogurt, and then some cilantro. We're gonna put it all in the blender. So let's go ahead and get this out. You guys, I don't know if y'all heard my kids in the background right now, but I was like, guys, um, y'all keep it down because, you know, like they're playing or whatever, but sometimes they tend to get like overly loud. They start screaming. I'm like, why are y'all screaming? But I told them to keep it down right now. And it is just funny because my middle son, he's like, why mom, you're doing a video? <laughs> like they know what i do now and it's just so funny he's like are you doing a video and i was like yes baby i'm doing a video can you keep it down he's like okay mom <laughs> and i think it's like the cutest it's just so funny i think it's funny but like when they see me on youtube or like you know they have youtube like on their tv they're like look mom it's you i'm like yeah that's me they're like okay and they just like scroll past it i'm like thanks <laughs> Okay, so I have some of my mango right here. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my blender. Adding in yogurt. One lime juice. If I can do this, guys, I can never do this with one hand. Okay. And then we're also adding in a bunch of cilantro. 
put our lid on. We are using a, our blender a whole bunch this week. Okay, we're gonna puree. Wait. I don't know, there's like two settings on here. I think one of them is like the first one heats and the second one doesn't, I believe it goes. But we're gonna see how that goes. So we're gonna puree and blend it all up and this is gonna be our sauce for our chicken. Okay, so I canceled it. So I'm still figuring this out, but the puree heats stuff up. I don't wanna heat it through. I'm just gonna click smoothie and just blend it like that. Okay, this is what my um, sauce is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out into a bowl. Ooh, it smells so good, cannot wait. Okay guys, so what I did, I cooked the chicken for 30 minutes. Now I have it on broil. You can see I'm about to turn it off already. I put it on broil just so it can get a nice brown coating on top. We don't want it just like plain white where it just looks not cooked through. <laughs> so I'm about to turn it off or we're gonna let it cool down. And this is what it looks like when it come out. I'm just gonna slice up one chicken breast once it cools down and we're gonna serve everything right up. Okay, I have my serving of brown rice. I sliced up one chicken. Now we're gonna take the sauce that we made. You're gonna pour it right over the chicken. Just like that. You're gonna garnish with a little bit more mangoes. Just add as much as you like and a little bit of cilantro and that's it guys this right here is going to be our dinner i literally cannot wait to dig in we got a nice sauce a simple chicken breast marinated cilantro that freshness of the mango and our rice all right guys let's go ahead and dig right in give this a little try got the mango the chicken i'm going in with some brown rice Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, this sauce is so good. Mmm. It just it's just so fresh. Like I like it. I think it'll be even better too. Mm. With a little bit of diced jalapeno in the sauce, and it just adds like a little kick, a little spiciness to it. Maybe like a serrano pepper. But this is so good. The sauce is amazing. The sauce really makes the chicken, so you can just take this plain chicken marinate it and like spice it up with just the sauce and then your brown rice and your mango this is so good mm. love it all right guys i ate all my dinner it was so delicious i had my serving of chicken with the sauce and my serving of brown rice now let me tell you all the macros for the end of the day for the end of the day we had 63 grams of protein 15 grams of fat we kept the fat very low today 797 calories and 93 net carbs so remember i am aiming on my cyclical keto days um through 50 through 100 net carbs for the day so we hit 93 today and everything was really good we had a very full, full breakfast that breakfast made me full i actually had a snack plan to um plan today but i was way too full from breakfast so if i'm too full i'm not gonna eat and we still got in our net carbs for the day so we still did good but dinner was awesome and we hit a go for today i finally got out of my waist salt and i'm so excited and i cannot wait to see more progress tomorrow is actually the last day of um the 30 day challenge with no cheats so everybody that has joined in on that challenge um tomorrow's the last day so i'm gonna be posting it on facebook um so if anybody wants to head on over there to my page I, i'm gonna post it here on youtube but you can't post pictures here on youtube so if you do have facebook if y'all want to head on over to my keto with sammy page um y'all could post y'all's progress pictures over the past 30 days if you don't want to post pictures you can just post um you know type it out how much weight you lost over the last 30 days or how you're feeling or anything like that um what exercises you were doing what new things you accomplished just little goals that you made over the last 30 days so if y'all want to head on over there do that i will definitely be posting that tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day and thank y'all for everybody who joined in. Um, we had a really good, successful last 30 days. Um, and yeah, so next, stay tuned. Today is actually going to be the fifth cyclical keto day. I'm only doing, I was only doing this for six weeks. 
So I was doing the six um, carb up days once a week and next week will be the last one. And then after that, we're gonna start another challenge. So y'all stay tuned for that, I'm excited. I have a couple of challenges that I wanna get in with y'all and just see what works for me. Um, the cyclical keto definitely has helped, but I wanna see what else can help boost my weight loss. So I'm gonna be making some more changes um, and I hope to bring y'all along and I hope y'all join in as well. So y'all stay tuned for new challenges coming up within the next couple weeks. But I'm about to end my day. I am officially done eating. We got all our delicious meals in and I really hope y'all enjoyed these awesome easy recipes. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and i will see you on the next one